First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kakadash. I would like to give a shout out to all the other brothers, the Aki, that's pushing the same truth and sincerity on the four winds of the earth. I would like to shout out one. I would like to get into this quick lesson today. Uh, I, I ran into this old Jake, and, uh, and he asked me, where 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 did the spirits go? You know, uh, when they passed on. So he so he uh, his pastor could answer the question. You know, so he come to me and excuse me, Salaki, but the same bro uh, brother. He's an older, he's a, well, an older gentleman. And to make a long story short, uh, he also told me a, a couple months ago that his Christianity, well, he's a Christian that, that goes in old churches, building made with hands, alluding to Acts 7 and eight. He say he, that he showed up at church one day and the preacher, this false prophet, he threatened him, told him that he was going to kill him. He was going to put him to death. And he had no idea. He said, he asked him, hey, for what reason? So he had no idea. So, so my point, so my question was this. I asked him, I said, hey, man. I say, the question I want to ask you is, did you go back to the church? He said, yeah. And that, and that brought me to Hosea 4 and 6. Like how would say, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Even after this fake pastor, this false prophet, this false teacher, he threatened him. And it's such a stronghold in Christianity today is worse than any drug that you can take. You, hey, you can't even think of a drug that is more dangerous than Christianity. Because if it wasn't so dangerous, this pastor threatened to kill this man. He turned right back around and went to the church the next Sunday. Now you tell me, what, what type of drug that you can take that would give you those Terrible side effects. No, no. It's Christianity. We're saying all that to say this. He wanted to know where the souls went. He thinking that the spirits go into the dirt, and they and they and they uh, stay with the earthly tabernacle until who they call Jesus Christ come back and save them, and then the judgments are, are going to begin when he come back and save them. He thinking that the spirits. Continue to stick with the stay with the body in the dirt until that day. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the scriptures. Yeah, okay. Now and also he also thinking that when judgment come after their God, which they call Jesus Christ and God, okay. They thinking that when say when their God come back, their idol come back. That the spirits that they call good gonna go up in the heaven and dance around on fluffy clouds, and which they and the people that they call bad that's gonna go down into the dirt in the center of the earth and gonna to be tormented by spiritual demons Satan. So he what he was asking me really were was. The spirit, they just sleep with the earthly tabernacle. And that's it. So our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So I want to go into these, these few uh, precepts, these few scriptures to shed some light on those lies that these uh, uh, the wolf and sheep clothing are teaching our people uh, using fear tactics. So enough, enough rambling. So I'm, I'm going to go into the scriptures to answer this man's question, this old Jake's question, and hopefully there's a, uh, a new sheep 
you know, they probably heard the same thing or, or these same lies. So I want to go through the scriptures. I said, break it down. We're going to start with Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 1, I'm going to start at verse 26. If thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments. He said, if thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments. And the Lord shall give her unto thee. So if you desire wisdom, keep the commandments. So this old Jake, he don't, he, hey, he doesn't desire wisdom because everything that's in the scriptures, they are not taught, is not taught to him. And what's taught to him is they can live the way they want to live. They don't have to keep the law of statutes and commandments because they don't know who they are in the scriptures. They don't know that they are the children of Israel, the Hebrew Israelites, that this is our heritage book. They have no idea, okay? So these false pastors and these false prophets are lying in bed with Esau Edom, right? The so-called white man. They're going to keep them dumbed down. And they send their uh, false prophets to their seminary school, or should I say cemetery school, because the only thing they teach is death and destruction, okay? So the Most High say, if thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments. So these wicked Israelites, which is this old Jake, he's not keeping the commandments because he constantly talking about pork, but it, uh, pork and eating lobster, crab and shrimp. So he can forget wisdom, now it's understanding, okay? So I'm gonna go on to, um, like I said, it's gonna, it's gonna be something quick through the spirit that the Most High put up on me to answer this old Jake's question. So I decided to do a quick video on it. So I'm gonna to go to the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 104. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. You go through the precepts to get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Every false way through the precepts to get understanding. I can tell you, okay, you know what? Let me, uh, I don't want to butcher it, so let me go to the scriptures and find it. For well, precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here or there and there or there. So you have to go back and forth, New Testament, Old Testament, back and forth. You got to fit it in like a puzzle in order for it to make sense. If you don't know precept upon precept, line upon line, okay? So like you say in um, Psalm 104, 119 to 104. Through that precept, I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. So every false way is this Christianity, plantation, slave doctrine, buildings. Okay? So through that precept that he get that I get understanding, therefore every, every false way. So they're not getting the truth, truth in these buildings. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to Isaiah to answer his, his question, uh say even further. Seven. Keep in mind, Israel. You know, he's thinking that when the body dies, it's go, it go, it goes to the grave until that great judgment they come. And then Yahweh, the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, he resurrect the spirits who, who the world even they call Jesus Christ. And then which they teach him in these Christianity buildings that that, that the good people go up in the spirit world and dance around and have a good time on the cloud. And the bad people, 
they go in the core center of the earth and they be being uh, have a perpetual torment by a spiritual demon Satan being born in lava. So we're going to get to the bottom of it through the precepts. And we're going to see if the judgment are going to be in the core of the earth being tormented by a spiritual demon saver, Satan in lava or in the judgment upon earth. Or well, Isaiah chapter 26 verse 7. The way of the justice of right is of rightness. Thou most of right. Do his way path of the just. Verse 8. Yea, in the way of the judgment of the Lord have waited for thee. The desire of our soul is in thy name and the, and the remembrance of thee. Verse 9. It's the main point. With my soul have I desired thee in the night, yea. With my spirit in me will I seek thee early. Okay, so what they're saying here is, is the true believers, which is the, the, the one third elect, we're not going to wait until all hell break loose before we start to acknowledge and call upon the most high name. Okay? We're going to seek his, we're going to seek him now. Before all hell break loose, before it get bad, before the before famine, the, with the mark of the beast, okay, the famine, all these pestilence. So we're gonna seek him right now, where things are uh, or not as bad as it gonna get, okay. With my soul have I desired thee in the night, yea. With my spirit within me will I seek thee early. So we're gonna seek the Most High Yahweh. By Hashem, I was shot early before all the hell break loose. The whole filet, okay, scattered abroad. For when thy judgments are in the earth, what? I thought it was all the spirits go up on the ground, the bad spirits, the judgments, or being tormented, or being tormented by spiritual demons, Satan. But it, but the scriptures say, for when thy judgments are in the earth, okay. The inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. So the judgments are in the earth. Not when you pass on what they teach, teach you in, in these Christianity plantation slave doctrines. That when you, you know, you be a bad person, that you go down in the core center of the earth and be tormented by a spiritual demon saved for all eternity. No. The most high judgments are in the earth. When the spirit perish, or when the, I take the back to lock you, when a when a human uh, perish, they their bodies go to the dirt, and their spirit go back to the Most High, and then they come back down every third and fourth generation, and their judgments will be on the earth. Okay, and I'm gonna pull the precepts. I kind of got ahead of myself, but I had to say that. All right? So, the judgment. So, when you see, uh, let's say, an individual, just say a baby, or, or you see someone come down uh, that, that's deformed in a wheelchair, or you may see a, a whole family get killed, get put to death by a house fire, or no matter whatever type of violent death it may be or it may seem, the spirit go up in the go up in the spirit world, in the flesh, in the body, the earthly tabernacle go into the grave, and that spirit come right back down for judgment. So when you see a person get put to death in a violent way, the both high judgments are in the earth. They come, they go up in the spirit world and they flesh or the earthly tabernacle go into the grave and they come back for judgment. And I want to prove that through the scriptures. So now we're gonna to go to our uh, And keep in mind, no matter how wicked you may think a person may have been, you can use just say Adolf Hitler, for example, or Jeffrey Domino, Dom, Domino, or however you say his name, or um, what's his name, the Charles Manson, all these serial killers. 
know, you know, they teach you that all these spirits, they go straight to hell and they be in torment. No, these spirits go in heaven, which is the spirit world, and they be in peace. But they're not gonna, they're not gonna get away with it because they're gonna come right back down for judgment. Okay, so we're gonna go, and that goes back to Isaiah the twenty-sixth chapter, and you read that Isaiah twenty-six. From verse 7 to verse 9. It's locking. Now we're going to prove it even further. So we're going to go to. Uh, we're going to go to Ecclesiastes. Prove even further. Now here too, so. We're not going to use my words. We're going to use the scriptures to answer these old Jake's, these old man's uh, questions. Now, we're going to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 20. So you go back to all spirits, all spirits, all spirits, no matter how wicked you may think they are. They go back to one place. But we're going to use the scripts. We're going to go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 20. All go into one place. He said, All. It didn't say some. It didn't say some. He said, All, even the who the world thinking that are the most wicked people, whoever you can think of, that you think or in this core of the earth being tormented by spiritual demon Satan and some lava. The Most High Yahweh, he said, all go unto one place. All go into one place. He said, all. He didn't say some. All are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. Verse 21, who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward? They all go up to the spirit world, no matter how wicked they may be. Keep in mind, they come back down to earth, alluding to Isaiah, the 26th chapter, around the seventh verse, and you read to verse 9. And the spirit of the beast goeth downward to the earth. So all the beasts, they go into the dirt. But all spirits return back up to the spirit world. So to further explain it, we're going to go to uh, Ecclesiastes. We're going to stay in Ecclesiastes. We're going to go. Chapter 12 and verse 7. Read it for yourself. And hey, you newcomers, but mainly this for that Jake to ask these questions. So the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 9. Now, listen real close. Real close. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. The same as it said in Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 20. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God, who they call God, even they call God, which is Jehovah, who gave it. All the spirits, he said, all the spirits, no matter who they were, how, how wicked they were on the earth, they're going to come right back down for their judgment. And look into uh, Isaiah, the 29th chapter, okay? Um, well, but it's a lot here. The 26th chapter, Isaiah the 26th chapter, and you can read that from verse 7 to verse 9. Okay? So it said, Oh, I'm going to read it again. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the most high God who gave it. So the spirits go right back. To the most high. They, they don't go into the into the core of the earth where spirits are being uh, tormented by spiritual demons Satan for all eternity. No. The most high God, Yahweh judgment are played out upon the earth. Okay? They play out upon the earth. No matter how wicked this person may have been. Alright? So these these are the lies that are being broken through Christianity. The plantation, 
the reason I keep saying plantation slave doctrine because this is the same doctrine that they taught our people that they only pull certain scriptures but they was uh they was misleading or misquoting scriptures then but but they knew it and they know our people they once they hear something they'll hold on to it just like a pit bull they won't let it go so if this is the same doctrine that they were teaching our people back then then they try to teach us now but the most high had raised up his true men his prophets scattered abroad among the four winds of the earth they're teaching the true doctrine you know so so to further so to further prove the lies that have been taught in Christianity but first and foremost I want to explain it to this old Jay he thinking that the spirits and or still attached to the flesh they in the grave sleeping they're just waiting for that great day who they call Jesus Christ to come back and save them that there's no spirits in the spiritual realm right now with the most high but there's a lie so I want to go and prove it even further I'm going to go to Revelation the Revelation and this is a future prophecy that had happened yet okay it, it hadn't happened yet we want to start at Revelation chapter 6 and verse 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal, it's talking about an angel, I saw under the altar souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh, who the word is called God, and for the testimony which they held. So what they're saying is, oh, you know what? Let me read it straight through first. Then I come back and try to touch on it. And when they had opened the fifth seal, I saw under I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh and for the testimony which they held. So this is what's going on. In the ancient in the spirit in the ancient world, you had the same uh prophets or uh righteous Israelites. That were put to death by the Edomites, which will be ruling this earth today. Okay? So, the way they put Emmett Till, they're not saying that he died righteous. He probably done something wicked in the spirit. Of well, in the regeneration, he came back for uh, judgment. But I'm using an example. For all the righteous Israelites who is standing before the Most High right now in the spirit world, all right? Okay? Salaki, let me start on. Verse 9, and when he had opened the, the fifth seal, I saw under the altar souls of them that were slain for the for the word and the testimony which they held. So you had the, the, the uh a righteous men of the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So preaching this gospel, they were being slayed, put to death for believing in what we believe in. Okay, so these are, are the souls that were slain for the testimony, meaning we understand, or they understand, or they understood in the ancient days world that who Hamashaki Hawashai was and what they preached, and it didn't uh, um, measure up to the, the lies that being taught in these Christian the slave plantation, slave doctrine building, right? So they were teaching a doctrine that wasn't familiar with what the world or, or, or this wicked world or this society, they would preach a different doctrine. They wouldn't preach that love doctrine or Jesus or God love everybody who or uh, whatever the Christians called them, right? So they were preaching an unfamiliar doctrine. You know, they were probably saying, not probably, they were teaching, well, you know what? We are the Hebrew Israelites. Only the, hey, the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is coming to save just us. You know, which is Israelite, which is the 12 tribes house Israel, which consists of so-called blacks, Hispanics, say Native Americans, all right? So that's a testimony which they held, and they believed it, okay? Now, verse 10, and they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord? He said, How long, O Lord? How long, O Lord? 
and true. Do thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell upon the earth. See, it go right back to Isaiah the 26th chapter. Judgment going to start on the earth. So, so, the, so, and so the saints were crying, verse 10, and they cried with a loud voice saying, how long, how long, oh Lord, how are, are you going to continue to let these Edomites, which is the so-called white man, continue to slay us and slaughter us on the streets? How long, how long, oh Lord, holy and true, do it not, not judge, you see, and avenge our blood of them that dwell on the earth. They go right back to Isaiah 26, chapter, around the 7th, verse 2, verse 9. His judgments are going to be upon the earth, okay? Not in the core center of the earth being tormented by spiritual demons of Satan. Okay, verse 11. And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest. Yet for a little until their fellow servants, also their brethren, that should be killed and they will should be fulfilled. Okay? So what they're saying is this. We're going to have to go through the same thing. So the Most High, the prophets are back on earth today in the regeneration. You know, if you can go to uh, Malachi 4 and 5 and read that, okay? You can go to uh, Daniel 12 and 13. You can also go to, uh, I want to say Matthew chapter 11, verse 11, and just read it straight through. So the same prophecy back here today, and you have the same followers of Habashach Yehoshai that's back on the earth today. They're standing in, in their same lot. So we're gonna have to, some of us are gonna have to get put to death. Just like our forefathers in the ancient world got put to death. So we're gonna be martyrs just like our forefathers. Okay? In verse 12. No, okay. So now, but the main point was the spirits, there are spirits. All the spirits go right back to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, as they say in verse 9, in Revelation chapter 6, verse 9, when we had opened the seal, I saw under the altar souls of them that were slain, and for the word of God, and for the testimony which they hear. He said, and they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long? Holy One and True, do thou not judge and avenge our blood of them that dwell upon the earth. So these souls of these spirits, they are in the spirit world crying to the Most High Yahweh. Why So now you understand that our spirits, our spirit goes straight back to where they come from. They are in the spirit world. They are not sleeping in the ground. They are not sleeping in the grave, connected to earthly tabernacle, these spirits are crying to Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to come to, to avenge our blood on these Edomites that catch all sorts of hell upon the 12 tribes of the house of Israel, which consists of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and say Native Americans. And hopefully there was an edifying video, you know, that the spirits do not go to the center of the earth and being tormented day and night. Okay? So, I would like to give all praise and honor and glory to your how by Shimon Yahweh Shai, by Shimon the Kakodaj. Until the next one, Shalom, Kwam Yasharala, and the Bible Ball.